Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Labor Day to all my Facebook friends. What a beautiful Friday morning right here in Malaysia. I'm here live with you, Gary Gunn here. And this morning, I just want to share something very interesting. Good morning, Kuniko-san from LA. Good morning, Ohayo gozaimasu. This morning, I'd like to share something while I was doing my yoga exercise and this thought really came into my mind. And uh, the title of my sharing this morning is very simply put, um, Monkeys are meant to climb trees while fishes are meant to swim. Why is that so? Um, I can't really give you a clear answer about that. That's probably the answer that has to come from Almighty, from God. But it simply shows us this very simple thing. Like you can see this beautiful rainforest behind me, right? So there are so many different species of animals, insects, wildlife that are inside there. Every single creature that this magnificent universe or what I call God created has their own potential, their own specialty and their own gift. Nevertheless, they also have their own limitations, right? So if like, if you ask a monkey try to swim, it's, that's virtually impossible and the monkey will never even go to a swimming school to try to swim because he knows, the monkey knows that they are not born to swim, all right? It's just the same, the fishes doesn't try to go to a climbing tree, a survival climbing tree classes, try to, try to climb trees, right? Because why? The fishes know that they are meant to swim. So my question to you, what's your gift? What's that one special thing that is inside you, that came with you when you were born into this world, that you are meant to release it out to the world so that the world can experience, can enjoy, can, can get the value from you. What is that one thing? And I always love the way comedian, American comedian Steve Harvey puts it. And he says, your gift is what you do your absolute best with the least amount of effort. All right, so it's something that is virtually natural to you. Everyone has that gift, okay? And I repeat, everyone has that gift. You just need to sometimes just quiet yourself. You know, there are a lot of people right now getting so stressed, full of anxiety, thinking of their future, you know, like the future is so dark, so bleak. But you know what? Why not spend your precious time today just sitting like, like in my case, I sit at my yoga mat here and I do my, I do my meditation, I do my, um, my yoga, my exercise, my Tabara. And what I do is I just close my eyes and just quiet my mind and just, just listen to, to the sound of nature, to, to the voice of God. You must ask yourself this question when you silence yourself, when you slow down everything. And now is the best time, guys. With the coronavirus, you are forced to slow down. It's not that you want to, but you are like forced to close to slow down. Morning, Giselle. I can see. Good morning, Shashi. Uh, morning, Paulus. Morning, Tom. Good morning. Happy Labor Day to everybody. <laughs> but guess what? Every labor is literally resting right now. So there's no difference whether it's labor day or not. Okay, except if you are in the in the health medical in the as a doctor, you know. Okay, coming back to my topic. So a lot of people I notice, why are they so stressed up? I mean, even before this coronavirus epidemic and all that, why are people stressed up? I literally put it this way. I'm, I give you an example. People are so stressed up because they are like fishes trying to climb the tree, trying to go to a tree climbing class, try to climb the trees and they fail. And monkeys trying to go for swimming lessons and they fail. And if you really think about nature, if you look at the nature out there, they never even attempt to do something that they are not. Now, I'm not trying to tell you don't do something that's out of your comfort zone or don't do something that's out of your norm. You can go and try. You can go and learn. You can go and explore. 
Okay, that's part and parcel of human beings. That's why we, we have the intellect to think and to do a lot of things, maybe more than what the, the, the nature outside are doing. But what I'm trying to tell you is while you are pursuing your journey in life, okay, while you are going through the experiences that you are going through in life, why not also start to be aware, okay? Start to feel deep inside, start to quiet yourself, silent yourself. You know, do this every morning if you can, just like me. And really ask yourself this question or ask God, ask universe, whatever you call it, okay? What is that one gift that you are gifted with that best, best suits you and you can do it and you know, just like me, in my case, I can very easily tell you my gift is very easy. I'm born to speak, I'm born to inspire. Because every single day, I'm getting messages from my boss above <laughs> that keeps flowing to me, okay? So probably he's chosen me to do this duty. So I don't need, you, if you look at me, I don't have a script. I don't prepare this message this morning. I just do it. I just go with the flow, you know? Let it go, let it flow. So that's my gift. But what's your gift, okay? There, I know there are some people who are very gifted with handiwork. You know, if you ask them to fix something, to install something, you know, they are really good at it. But if you ask me to do that, hell, I, I, will, I will screw up the thing, you know. I will get hours just to get it done. And, and not only that, you know what? I will get so stressed up that my whole day is spoiled because of trying to fix that thing. Now, if you think about this topic seriously, don't you think that every children, every young people that are pursuing their life should also think about this? You know why? Because a lot of people, especially parents, children, they are going through an educational system that is linear, that is only fitted for one thing. Can you imagine if all the animals, can you see that, this beautiful forest here? If all the animals in this forest are being put through one, one filtration system, one education system that is to climb trees, do you know how many failures of creature will be found inside here? But you know what? They don't. Why? Because they know birds are meant to fly, monkeys are meant to climb the trees, and fishes are meant to swim. So they just do what they are good at. They are just do what their gift is. Guys, so if you find yourself always trying to cope up with something you see on Facebook, see on social media, you are looking at some people having so much successes doing their field, you probably need to ask yourself this question. Stop comparing yourself with other people. Maybe you are comparing yourself with, with another person, with another gift that you are not even born with, okay? So, if you sometimes feel yourself stressed up because you are like virtually like trying to compare with some people, stop, okay? So, silence yourself. Just ask yourself this question. What's your gift? What is that one thing that you do with you? absolute best. That means that you do with best results that you know that you are much better than a lot of people with the least effort at all. Okay? Morning, Yusa. Selamat pagi. Lama tak jumpa. <laughs> okay? So, this is very important message, especially coming from you, um, coming to you on Labor's Day today. So, it's all about labor. Labor is all about workforce putting value to the universe. You know what, guys? Even, even you are just good at speaking one language, okay? You, if you are good at speaking one language, that itself could be a gift to you. Because you know what? I can't speak, let's say, I can't speak Spanish. But if you can speak Spanish, that is one gift that is God given to you, right? So always think of something that you have more advantage to other people that you're really good at and you can do it very easily, okay? So stop trying to be a fish trying to climb trees and monkeys trying to swim, okay? Of course, literally, I'm not saying you are a fish or a monkey, but every one of us, as our gift, okay? And you know what? The world needs to hear and needs to see and feel and experience your gift. Seriously, because that's what you are born for. Now, God, as mighty as He is, He can't like just come down and show you everything, right? So I always believe that God manifests His beauty, His wonders, His miracle through a very natural source. And guess what's that natural source? through human beings, through you, through me, through everyone, through even creatures out there, okay? So you, 
as you always claim that you are son of God, you are the, the, the creation of God, you are one with God. So what you are actually doing is you are an extension of the Almighty to provide what He is putting through you to the world. Okay, so remember that and be really good at what you are doing. Seriously, be really, really good at what you are doing. So how do you be very good? Good morning, Zhou San, Kobe. Kobe, good morning. Raymond, hey, Mabuai. Raymond from Philippines, good morning. So ask yourself this question, what are you really good at? Don't compare yourself with others. Can you imagine if Mike Tyson, the world heavy, once the world heavyweight champion, he tries to compare himself with Carl Lewis, the, the sprinter, can you imagine if, if Mike Tyson tries to be like Carl Lewis and Carl Lewis trying to be like Mike Tyson, both of them will have very miserable life, both of them will have really lousy results and both of them will, will struggle in what they do, right? So Mike Tyson became the greatest boxer um, of course, apart from Muhammad Ali, okay, of course, I'm very sure a lot of you all say, hey, hey, the greatest Muhammad Ali, right? <laughs> so, okay, let's say Muhammad Ali. So, Muhammad Ali became the greatest boxer and Carl Lewis became one of the greatest sprinter of all time because they were doing what is their gift. They are doing what's their best in, okay? So, guys, Labor Day today. Good morning, Diao. Good morning, good morning. So, my suggestion to you is take today a labor day a day off just sit down there quietly ask yourself this question or, or reflect reflect to your years before reflect from your childhood to growing up to where you are now i'm very sure through the years you will notice something very special in you everyone have that specialty everyone have that gift okay so just observe what you are really really comfortable with, what you can do very naturally, what comes to you very easily and you can just do it so easily and get good results at it, that's your gift, okay? And when you found your gift, you find your gift, you keep doing it, keep putting all the effort in it, keep polishing your gift, keep giving the best in what you are gifted. Alright guys, so once again, uh, Gary Gunn here live from beautiful Malaysia. Look at my background, that's a million years old rainforest over there. And uh, wishing you a great Labor Day. But more important guys, if you find today's message uh, really good, I, I really, really appreciate you give me a good comment over there if you think it's really good. And of course, press the share button or you may want to even do a watch party later. Share this message to somebody out there. Maybe there are a lot of people who are so stressed up. They are doing what they probably not, not gifted in. They are doing what they are not passionate about. They are probably just doing something what society call it a norm. Okay, I'm not sure about you, but I grew up in an age where our parents always um, um, have a very set uh, employment or, or, or work uh, ideology, you know, like you have to be a doctor, a lawyer, an engineer, you know, a dentist, you know. So there are a lot of people who are caught up with doing things that they are not gifted at and that they don't like. Not only they are not gifted at, but they don't even like it. And you know what? They are dragging themselves to the grave every single day, every single day, you know. And that's the funny part is because they are just like monkeys trying to be a fish to swim and the fishes trying to be a monkey trying to climb the tree, not knowing that they do what they do their absolute best. All right. So guys, if you like today's live message to y'all about working out your gift, I strongly suggest give me a like there, give me a comment and of course, click the share button so that more and more people will hear this message. So once again, I wish you all the best. Have a great Friday morning. Have a great weekend. And as usual, God bless you. And as my saying goes, let's be the miracle the world is waiting for. Uh,